guys, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we helped people, and in this episode, we're gonna help more people. Lala, play with me. The piñata, piñata, the piñata parlor is now having its grand opening. Apparently, it's just opening, even though it's been open the entire game. At least I think it was. We're waiting on Rugport's west side, so please come quickly. Yes, I do. I think she's the uh, boo lady in the. Uh, um, west side shop, I'm not exactly sure. Or if she's in the parlor. She's either in the parlor or, or in the shop, I don't even know. But, we are going to check. It's only like two different places and they're right next to each other so it's not that bad. So, I was actually thinking and this series is probably going to last a couple more parts because I forgot how like, I forgot how long and tedious some of the side quests are. So, hi there, cutie. Welcome to the West Side Let's Me See. No, it's not you. So, it's the person in the um, parlor, whatever. So, yeah, I've realized that some of the side quests are a bit longer and more tedious, so I don't really know. Hello there, Mario. Wait, what? How do you know my name? I don't know how she knows my name, but okay. That's super well. He don't tell anybody. Hey, what's the matter? You look disappointed. Um, well, apparently she gave me like three, um, ten coins, and that's all the trouble. That's cool. Wait, what? I'll hold ten pi piantas. I don't know why I want to say, um, piñata every time I say that. But, um, it was a play with me, but apparently I did nothing of the sort, but... It gave me the stuff anyway, so that's cool. So the next side quest, is, um, let's actually go back to the trouble center so we can actually see what it is. I don't know what it is, but I think we have to go all the way to Kettleburg to actually do it. Let's see. <clears throat> so, um, Ponty Jr. helped my daddy. Oh no, this is the one where, wait, is this the one? I'm waiting at the entrance. Okay. This is a stupid one because I think we actually, actually, I'm going to save that one for, how many coins do I have? Yeah, I'm going to save that one. I know I'm going to have to spend some, but no, I want to get rid of the one that I have. I want to cancel about 30 coins, okay. Um... <clears throat> That one's for the Pit of 100 Trials, which I don't really feel like doing right now, so I'm gonna go for Jolene. I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. <laughs> Please meet me in the Glitz Pit. Do you want to take on a problem? Yes. <clears throat> I remember this job. It's like you have to clean up, like, dirty shorts or something in the storage area. That's pretty much all you have to do, so... Some of the side quests are a decent length, only because you have to travel out of your way to actually find the people who's in need of assistance. And the person who needs assistance is, unfortunately, out of the way in Glitzville. And then we have to go all the way and do stuff like just clean the room or whatever she wants to do. <clears throat> So, ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. I hope I can skip this cutscene. I think I can. Like, when we actually start flying, I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully, <clears throat> keep getting bubbles in my throat. I don't know what's with that. Let me actually drink a couple, a couple. <clears throat> drink some water. A cup of water, I was trying to say. <clears> throat> Now I have to like clear my throat every five seconds. Enough about me though. Let's just get back to the game. Well, at least I was like in a cutscene, so it didn't really matter. There seems to be that rat from the train, which he does have a side quest later, and he's, I think he's one of the more tedious side quests. I could be wrong, but based on my memory, that's what it was. So let's go to the office where Grubba was because now Jolene is in charge of this place, at least I think she is. You're the ex-champ, right? Yeah, the Great Gonzalez. I don't know if you know this, but Miss Jolene is the fight promoter now. Pr uh, what? Promoter now. Oh, are you planning to come back? Maybe. Well, not really. There's really no 
like, special prize for coming back. At least as far as I know, you just become champ again and that's it. <clears throat> you need to talk to Miss Jolene. Go on in, she's waiting. Okay. So let's see what she has to say. Yes, yes, who is it? It's customary to knock before entering. Oh, why, it's the great Gonzalez. It's been too long. Well, apparently, yes, it has been. I must tell you, we've seen a big drop off in <clears throat> attendance since you returned the belt. So, apparently, things have not been going that well since I left. Not surprised. What? You want to unretire in battle again? Okay. I always knew this day would come. <clears throat> Let me just find your old registration so we can, huh? She's just gonna tell you it's deleted, so you have to do everything again, which is unfortunate. But, so our only option, sadly, is to start you from the, um, minor league, whatever she said. I'll just go ahead and put you on the minor league fighting again. Wait, fighter again. I'm trying to read too fast, and that's not good. So let's actually talk to her again. You accepted that request? Well, fantastic. Let's get down to business. I need you to clear out the garbage in the room. And she can't go anywhere near it. I don't know why. Is it because she's a girl or something? So let's actually go to the storage room because this is where all the stuff is. If I could go into it. Yes. Battle trunks, battle trunks, battle trunks, battle trunks. Battle trunks, battle trunks, battle trunks, battle trunks. I don't know why it has to show me this every time. Like it's a special item or something, but okay. And I don't know why there's so many battle trunks over here, it's kind of weird. So I don't think there's any of the battle trunks in the other room to the right. Could be wrong though. I'm not going down there because I don't think there's a way back up. Sexually check in here. Nope, I don't see any, but just to be safe, I will jump over here. Nope, okay. So, does it actually show the trunks? I mean, yeah, okay. So, important items, that's really weird. Trunks, some wrestler wore. Okay. I don't know why it actually, like, puts it in the important stuff slot, but that's fine, I guess. I think we just give them back to her or something. It's kind of weird. So let's go back to Jolene, and this should finish the side quest. Like I said, some of these side quests are short and sweet, and the other ones all are, like, long and devious. Wait, I know of a Goomba named Goomfrey and Rogue Portal buy stuff like that. Oh yeah, this is, this actually is a tedious side quest because you actually have to go back to Rogueport now and give him the trunks and then you have to go all the way back to Glit, um, yeah, Glitzville and talk to Jolene to get the reward and then that's what finishes the quest. I guess that's Nintendo's way of dragging out the side quest because they thought it was like too short or something I'm not sure but I'm gonna do it you won't let me on Yoshi for some reason this cheap blimp is bound to the town in Rogueport or maybe you don't have to go back to Jolene maybe the Goomba's pay is your reward I'm not exactly sure hopefully you don't have to go back to Jolene I'm not remembering correctly right now, so sorry about that. Skip. Let's skip it. There we go. So I'm going to be trying to do less cutting because in the last episode I just cut straight to it. But the thing is, if I don't cut straight to it, then I'm not going to get nearly as many side quests done because the next side quest after this one, I think it's a uh, rather long one like we have to go back to Paddleburg and do stuff but like I said if I don't know if I'm remembering this stuff correctly but some of the side quests are long <clears throat> I don't want to exactly just cut and meet you there because then you're not really going to know what I've been doing if that makes sense what are you selling okay um, no you have nothing useful right now so Wait, is this a Goomba? One of these Goombas... 
Um, one of these Goombas is the person that buys stuff. I don't know who it is, though. It might be the um, Goomba that's in the in this place. Let me check. So, is it you? Yeah, I spoke. Yes, it is him. Not who? What? You say, well, fine, let's get it done. So, we have to give all these to him. It's like, this is tedious right here. I don't know why they would do this. Like, I mean, they should have just had an option to give you all of them. Apparently, that was, like, too advanced for them or something, but okay. So, I'm just spamming the A button at this point. And how many, how many pairs of trunks did I pick up? Dang. Still some left, still some left. I guess we're done with this one. Man, I've never had a job this stinky. Yeah, see, we have to get the pay from her now, so we actually do have to go back <clears throat> and see her. And sorry if my voice is like, sounds all nasally and stuff. My nose, my, my noise, what was I saying? My nose is getting congested again like it always is <clears throat> I think I'm getting sick a little bit and it's just causing my nose to do stupid stuff be stupid and all that so watch your step let's go fortunately this isn't that long I mean it's kind of like the same thing in Pedalburg even though well I don't know how long I've been going at this side quest but the uh, side quest in Pedalburg in the last episode in Hill Kills Castle that took about seven minutes so I don't know how long this took probably <clears throat> as long I'm not exactly sure but whatever I wish we could skip all this stuff but whatever I keep saying whatever that's one of the things I like I've been finding out that I've been saying whatever and actually like especially actually I say actually too much it's so weird I don't know why like in Banjo Kazooie I think I said actually like three times in like ten seconds I'm like wow Joe do you really do that I don't know I guess when I'm just talking just randomly talking I just repeat the same word over and over again it's weird so hi Jolene you've cleared it all up use your reward 30 coins yay you solved the trouble see I wish there was like quick warping in this game that would have actually been very cool like if I could just open the start menu go to the map and just click on something well like just press a on um, a section of the map and just warp there just make it like the Super Mario World things, whatever. <clears throat> it's like Super Mario 3D World does that, where you can just open the map and just warp places. They don't give you an explanation as to why Mario is able to warp, but that's whatever. <clears throat> so, come on, come down. Here we go. See, like, this is boring to watch. Like, they make you watch this every single time. It's like, come on, man. I don't want to do this. Bam. Okay, so over here, we got the thing. To the thing. We got the coins. We got the coins as is from Jolene. And let's actually just head out, I guess. Oh, well, head out. Let's go back to the trouble center. So we can get another side quest. I might do the one or two more side quests. It depends on how long the next side quests even are, I guess. So, let's just go back to the trouble center. This is fun. I love. I, I, what? I was trying to like say like and love at the same time. I love going back and forth. It's so fun, isn't it? Yes, it is very fun. So, eventually there... I think there's a side quest for, like, Merlin. I don't remember anything about that, though. So, Pointy Jr. No, that's the one that I don't want to do. Wait, I want to make a heartful cake, but forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open, so can you find the recipe? I'm hoping what? Um... Over in Pedalburg, you see, 
Please meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath the Rogueport. Oh, it's Merly, yeah. So let's go to What's Your Face, Merly, and actually just go down to the sewers pretty much and just meet her. See what we have to do here. Actually, I might only be able to do this side quest and then, wait, actually. So here, this is the shortcut that we made. So yeah, I might be only able to do this and then just call it the video, so that was like not that much. So which one was the Charmer's Hut? I think it was this one. Not exactly sure. This is where she is, right? Are you Merly? Welcome, Mario. If you wish to... Apparently you're not. Okay, so... Um... Is she actually the person? Let me actually... You see, there, there I go again. I'm saying actually, like, way too much. So, is she the person that's in here? I don't even remember. Please be the person. Um, no. Okay, I have no idea where this is. <clears throat> where is the Charmer's Hut? She did say in Rogueport, like, the sewers or something, did she not? That's weird. There's nowhere I can check that. Is there, like, I can't just press pause and check it. I'm, I already checked here, but okay. No, apparently she's not the one. So let's actually check in all the houses. There I go again, actually. So are you, by chance, any of the people that want... No, you're not. Okay. So I've never actually been in this house. Well, in this Let's Play, I mean. This does not look like the right place, but... Um, Merly. But Merly is... There's another person, but... Where is this person? I have no idea. I thought she said down here, unless I just read that wrong. I'm not even sure anymore. That's the shop right there. It's not the place. Um... Uh, I don't even know. Let me actually go back up and read that, unless I can... No, I don't think I can read it here, but... I can go in that building in the background there, can't I? Yeah, I can, but where's the pipe? This isn't the pipe, is it, that lets me go in the back? Let me actually see. Ooh, yes it is. So... I don't even, like, I don't even remember what's in this building. So let me check. Are you Merly? Yes, okay. You are the person. To Paddleburg, you must go. Ask and talk to you. What? Something, okay. Whoever that is, I don't know who that person is. So let's go back to Paddleburg. Well, we weren't even in there, so it's not really back. But you know what I mean. And since this is the closest way to Petalburg, I will be taking this way. And there's actually a chest up there, which I should actually just go and get. Actually, this video contains actually. So, let's just, hopefully, okay, yes. And I think I can bomb this wall. Let me actually check. Actually, I love actually. That was actually on purpose. So was that. <laughs> Actually, so is this an item or a badge? Defend plus P. Boo. That's boo. That's 100% boo. So let's go back to Joe. The Joe. And go to Pedalberg. No. I, didn't I do that last time too? I don't even remember anymore. So Pedalberg, I have no idea who this person even is, so I'm just gonna talk to like everyone until I find them. Just wait until I get to the actual town, because I have to pass like 5 billion screens to actually get there. These guys are no longer a threat. They haven't been a threat for a very long time actually. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Straight away, I'm not gonna do that stupid finger thing that finger thing. 
sets the bar is already like so close to the top. Wow, okay. Like, first time that's happened in this last play. I thought I didn't have to do this, but apparently I do. I didn't want to have to do that. But, whatever. That, that's just my luck. Like, it had to just appear in the very beginning. So, you're not him by any chance, are you? No, you're not. Um, I don't think any of you guys are him, but I'm just gonna talk to all of you anyway. Um, nope. Flower dude, are you him? I doubt you are, but... Nope. <clears throat> wow, okay, just fall right in the water. That's so amazing of you, Joe. So, are you in this house? Let's actually check. Are you? Hooktail is toast. No, Hooktail is actually a dragon, but that's okay. Think whatever you want. So, he must... Or he or she must be in this part over here. Nope. Nope. She did say Paddleburg, right? I hope she did. Could be wrong, though. Um, nope. Are you the person? You look like her. Yeah, okay, yes, thank you. I found her. Cake from early? Let's see. I know you need cake mix and ruin powder. I wonder how Merly is making it for this. Wait, what? Who she's making it for? Okay, so what is Ruin Powder? Oh, wait, yeah, I think I know. I don't have that, but though. So, um, Cake Mix and Ruin Powder. I have to actually give those ingredients to her, I think. But where is all of that? Wait, what am I? I'm, like, just going in random buildings now. So let me actually go to the shop. Not that the shop actually sells the stuff. I think they don't anyway. Do you have a ruin powder? No, you do not. So let's actually go back. And... Um, isn't there a pipe here? Let me actually check. There goes another actually. What the heck, Joe? Stop doing that. It's annoying. So, there should be a pipe in the next part of the town, over. Wait, is this? No? No! I think it was in the other part, but whatever. Close enough to the end of the, like, the beginning of the chapter, I should say. So, rune powder and cake mix, hmm? I don't think I've ever picked up a rune powder in this Let's Play. Which I think is like a purple bag or something, I'm not even sure. And cake mix, I don't even know where you get that. Um, hopefully I don't have to give this stuff to her, I mean... Um, hopefully, like, I just have to tell her the ingredients and I'm done. But if I have to get the ingredients, then that's gonna be a problem, because I don't even know where to get them. So let's go back to Merly. Around the pipe. I am the pipe. Okay, here's to hoping that I don't have to get the ingredients. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk. So, did you find the recipe? Ah, I remember now. That's right, of course. Wow. Oh, what shall I do? I have no cake mix. Boo hoo. Okay, we have to give her cake mix and not the ruin powder. Is that even an item, or am I thinking of something else? I don't even remember. But, now that I think about it, you can actually get cake mix in the parlor as a prize. So let's do that real quick. If I have enough tokens, that is. But a cake mix isn't that expensive. It's from the Piante coins, but I think 10 is enough. To actually get one, not even sure. So I love walking all this way, it's really fun and not. This is what the majority of the game is, like the uh, majority of side quests in any game is just walking back and forth. 
So, peanut the parlor. Boo, you better give me my cake mix, because I need it. Okay, I'll return 10 piantas. And, oh wait, what? I can now play the, pa the playing game, which I'm not going to do right now. And let's trade in the winnings. Okay, cake, cake mix a 6. So, cake mix, let's give this back to her. No, I don't want anything else. Ah, uh, just... Why does it have to show this every single time? I do stuff, I don't know. Okay, so let's go back to Merle and give her the cake mix. The mix of cake. And then that should complete the side quest. So, yay. And that'll be the end of the video, because this video is almost already like 26 minutes, which is crazy. I didn't even do that much. But anyway, let's just go back to Merly. That is her name, right? Merly? Even though it like, just showed us that. Like, it just showed us her name. Not that long ago. So down the pipe we go to Grandmother's house. Down the pipe to Grandmother's house we go. I almost fell on the hole because I forgot to jump. I'm so silly. Okay, so here's your cake mix. Yes. Thank you, you're the best. You're the bestest. Okay, so we got 30 coins. We solved the trouble. Yes. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. In the next episode of Paper Mario 1000 Year Door, I will be doing more side quests. Hopefully I can get a little bit more done in the next episode, but I don't know. So, see you later, and goodbye.